everybody, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So I spawn on this beach, and I'm playing currently locally, which basically means single player. I was not able to do this yesterday, uh, but now I am, and I kind of played around a little bit uh, during the whole day, also tweaking a little bit with the graphics options, uh, and kind of learning uh, the kings of the game. So. Uh, I tried not to venture too deep into the island to avoid spoilers, you know, uh, but at least I learned some stuff. So, uh, one thing though that I don't know how is how to reset the map. So, once I started the local map, it saved all the previous structures that I made with my previous character. So, for example, this is a structure that I made. As you can see, you can actually build pretty far into the sea, which is pretty cool, where you can have like this complex in the, in the water. Now you cannot go all the way uh, into the water. Like when when the ocean floor gets really deep, then you cannot actually place the uh, um, building anymore. But uh, you can actually have a pretty cool stuff there. I also want to thank you. Oh, this is by the way dinosaur poop that I can pick up and use for fertilizer. But also one thing that is uh, kind of worrying is that. Um, a pretty impressive thing about this game is that it actually remembers what rocks or um, trees you cut down and it actually doesn't respawn them, or at least if it does, it takes a long while. And so this whole area, as you can see here, has no trees anymore. And I really would like to start um, this map new and fresh, uh, because I can see all the things that I've done with previous characters, and I kind of want to, you know... Uh, start all over again, but it's all right. Just means that it's a little bit uh, more difficult. This is the southern shore, by the way. I spawned uh, in, on all shores at least once, uh, and in one shore, I immediately got greeted by a big crocodile um, to the point where, during the <laughs> intro cutscene, where your character wakes up and actually uh, is looking at his hand, the crocodile already attacked me and I took damage. Alright. So, I learned some stuff on uh, what to do. We are going to increase health for now. Uh, and we're going to be learning campfire and club. The spear will also do, but in a bit. So the game has uh, been uh, launched very well in terms of numbers, in terms of sales. It has been uh, sold more than 100,000 times in the first 12 hours, uh, which is very impressive. Uh, and I saw actually a lot of negative reviews that did say, like, listen, I really love this game, but because of the performance issues, I, uh, I give it now a thumbs down because I think you need to wait a little bit longer. And I kind of agree with that. I love what this game has to offer at this stage already, and it feels really complete. But, again, the performance. If you want a, uh, a survival game, uh, currently that is very stable, uh, and has a lot to offer. I would suggest go buy the forest that actually has a very cool had a very cool update recently um, And go play that for like a month and then come back and hopefully this game should uh, already had a, a patch out or two uh, And is a lot more playable Now the big thing though of course when you compare it to a game like the forest or Shrana deep is that this game is so much more than just a survival game um like I said, I talked to Kyle about this game, and he said that, well, the dinosaur aspect he didn't really find all that interesting, but the survival aspect he liked. Now, you can do this in a lot of other games, you know, Seven Days to Die, Rust, uh, The Forest, Stranded Deep, Savage Lands, you name it, they have, they have all that um, stuff, even Minecraft, you know? Which is, kind of, which is kind of what started it, I guess, sort of. But anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I also, I also shit just now. Here. It's my poop. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so this, this game actually has, you know, an end boss, so you can actually go and try defeat those bosses, you know, go and explore and try to defeat those bosses. Um, it has um, hunting in it. You can actually, when, once you kill a dinosaur, you can get the information, so you can actually try and collect them all. Uh, there's really a lot to offer. You can have those stones. I think you need the artifacts that are glowing in order to actually summon the end bosses. I don't know how many end bosses there are 
currently available. I remember reading in a report before the game got released that they wanted at least one. <laughs> but uh, in one of the latest patch notes, they did say that there is a queen spider. I think it's called a broodmother or something. Um, and... Uh, I don't know if that was the planned one or if they added that to the existing mythical creature. Uh, we shall uh, build the pants. And also a torch because it's actually getting dark pretty quick. I am not sure how the taming of the dinosaur works yet. I heard something about feeding them when they're unconscious. But whenever I fight them, I only oh. kill them, even if I use my fists. Um, let's see, what do I need for the campfire? Wood. Oh god. Thought I fell through the world there for a moment. I'll tell you one thing that I'm kind of impressed with in terms of the creature behavior is that I haven't seen a whole lot of buggy stuff there in terms of movement. I saw one shark that was flying out of the air once, uh, and once a triceratops and a crocodile fought the triceratops and the uh, crocodile continued their fight in the water, which was a little unrealistic, but I haven't seen too many fishy things, which is impressive for an early access game. Now do a spare. Oh wait, I can do one more. Let's do gloves too. You need a bit of hide for that. Okay, there we go. We got some wood. Here you can see that I was attempting to build another structure, but actually this was a failed one because I could not actually place the structure here because the uh, floor uh, descends too rapidly. No real point in actually making one when there's already stuff here. Uh, I got one more meat. Light fire. Ah, as you can see. You see here that I killed this. So that I have the dossier of this one. When I kind of wish. Though I do like the whole, like, uh, paper notebook thing. I wish you could see the model in 3D, because the models of the, um, animals actually look very impressive with the Unreal, oops, Unreal Engine 4. There we go, we got some cooked meat. I will immediately start and eat it. Uh, let's see. I need a shirt, I need more fiber for that. Wood. Alright. Let's light this again. Pterodactyl doesn't seem too bothered by it. Now, I haven't actually encountered a T-Rex yet. I assume that they are... I have encountered a... Oh my god, what was it? A Carnotaur? The the carnivore with the um, horns on above its eyes. Oh, uh, and as you can see now, the sun has set. But actually, this game, I actually also really like during the night. Obviously, I like it more during the day because of all the vibrant colors. But these beacons really, really have a nice touch with them. And um, like I said, I haven't really been playing too much yet or ventured too much into the island. So I kind of don't know where to go yet or what my goal currently is. But I assume I need to go to some of those beacons and find out something. The cool thing about, for example, the mystical creatures, or the end boss creatures, so to speak, uh, for example, that spider queen, um, you need to summon her. And in order to do that, you need to do certain things. Now, what you need to do is actually not mentioned, so you kind of need to figure that out for yourself, or maybe the game gives you some hints. But that's kind of cool that you have that exploration aspect there. <laughs> there we go. Now we have a nice shirt as well. Very 
very nice indeed. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. What can I... Oh, if we... yeah, yeah, yeah. Spear. And we need wood. So now we're actually going to be a little bit more aggressive. And luckily, you can actually gather wood while having a torch out. Because you cannot actually get fiber while having a torch out, which is, uh... Well, you just press E anyway while walking, so that's not too difficult. But it is kind of difficult to chop trees when it's really dark. Now, spares actually break really, really quickly. So, it is absolutely vital that you have multiple ones. Now, you can actually throw them. One thing I find a little bit unrealistic, uh, it is kind of easy currently for uh, us players, but if you are dehydrated, if you need water, one way to actually get that again get that is go into the sea and you automatically be hydrated again, <coughs> which is unrealistic because obviously seawater is salt, it's salty. Um, you know, if it's a lake or something, then it could be the case, but you might get sick. So that is actually a thing that I hope they will patch out. Um, I will not deny that it's definitely easy, that dehydration is therefore never a problem. But you can um, make this cool sort of like drinking bag that you can take with you. But it really has no function because, you know, there's water everywhere here. Um, so you just go back to the beach real quick. Uh, and heal up. Now, like I said, though, I haven't ventured too far into the mountains or the forest area yet, so then it might be more uh, necessary to actually bring that along, but, you know. Okay, let's see, can I make another one? Yes. Alright. Now, I am still too low level to attack, like, a Parasolophus or Triceratops or something. Uh, and especially the freaking Brontosaurus. But, uh... One real cool thing that I saw is that one of the beacons was on an island far into the sea. So in order to actually... Oh, wait, wait. Together, they're actually now get a boost. Oh shit, I cannot see. I cannot see. Ah, I'm low level. I'm low HP. Run! Run! Why is he not running? Oh, because they spit on me. Oh, alright, I broke my leg. Shit. Okay, I respawned in a random location. One thing that I find very funny is I always press, uh, Whenever I respawn, I do random location, but it's, it's almost always the same location that I started at. Uh, okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I am actually able to gather my stuff. Oh, by the way, I, I uh, found out what fortitude means in the um, first episode, I didn't know. That is actually uh, the things like... Um, when you feel hot, hot or when you feel cold or sickness, uh, you get better protection against that. Basically, it's your natural resistance. 
I have no, um, no torch, of course. Where did I die? Where did I die? That's a campfire I made earlier, apparently. Yeah, these two are still here. Damn it! Or maybe actually because I respawned with this character, maybe it decomposed the body. It was weird though, because with another character that I made, I, f I literally found the body of a character that I made earlier. Uh, and I took a stuff. Well, that's alright though. See, luckily I can actually already make those stuff. I'm about to level up too. I guess I could, should uh, level up my uh, health a little bit more. My strength. Let's actually run past these uh, dead off sources. Hi. Bye. Oh, actually, it didn't have mage strength, and there was only one this time. Oh shit, I'm stuck. <laughs> and while I'm running, I'm gathering stuff. I have no torch. I have no torch. I should make a torch. Uh-oh. Oh, God! I can make a cap thing. Damn it, I'm stuck again. Why am I not collecting fiber? There we go. I need flint for the... So yeah, here's another structure that I made. Uh, pretty cool. A very big one. See over the door. And yeah, you can see here that it goes all the way up here. Because the... Oh, well, I shit again. Great. Well... But I'm actually not able to build uh, further on this because it says that it's a structure of an enemy. And I cannot actually place structures near it, which is very interesting. I think other survival games have that same aspect, though, where you cannot build in a certain proximity of other people's um, properties. Now, because the performance still is a little bit shabby, I will not be um, playing this uh, too much in one go. I will probably play about 20 minutes per day to kind of continue this uh, this adventure, and hopefully um, it'll keep my, my interest um, fresh, because the problem with the force, what I had, is that I played so much of it when it came out that... Oh, Jesus Christ! No, no, ah! I'm helping the dodos! Kill it! Yes, I killed it! No, wait! No, dodos! No! I don't wanna fight the dodos! You are so cute! I don't wanna kill you! 
gives good experience, though. But yeah, the problem with what I had with the forest was I played so much of it when it came out in the early stage that I kind of was done with the game at that early point. And so I stopped playing it, even though that the game, you know, didn't have that much to offer yet. <laughs> As you can see, we got actually a lot of hides there. We got a lot of good stuff. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got a nice hat. Got some meat. So we should definitely make a campfire as well to cook it. Alright, so I'm pretty much going to uh, to end it here today. And now there seems to be a pretty good uh, safe system here, so I will definitely continue this character. This character is also called Kanoa, by the way, not Joe or Bob or whatever it was before. Um, like I said, other people uh, have bought it as well, so there definitely will be multiplayer series coming up. Uh, but for now, I'm still learning the mechanics of it, and, uh, you know, I'm enjoying this uh, at my own pacing. But, uh, yeah, thank you, actually, hold on. can we make still something? Yeah, let's make some shoes, baby! Some sneakers, some Nikes, some Nikes Air Max. There we go. You see here now that my armor is 20, level 4. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.